greetings from Filter Concept. Crude oil is a non-renewable source of fossil energy. Chemically, it is a complex liquid mixture made up of a vast number of hydrocarbon compounds that consist mainly of carbon and hydrogen in differing proportions. In addition, small amounts of organic compounds containing sulfur, oxygen, nitrogen, and traces of metals such as vanadium, nickel, iron, and copper are also present. The presence of these heteroatoms and other metals are not desirable in finished petroleum products. The concentration of the other heteroatom compounds, such as nitrogen, oxygen, and metals in crude oils, is usually lower than that of the sulfur compounds. Generally, in heavier crude oils, the proportion of carbon, sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen, and organometallic compounds are higher at the expense of hydrogen content. These compounds are highly corrosive and toxic and should be removed in the refinery. These compounds severely affect the activities of catalysts and result in lower quality products. They are the major contaminating components present naturally in the crude oil. These contaminants can affect the performance of downstream unit operations, catalysts, or even engines. The petroleum refineries transform crude oil into useful fuels and products, along with working towards environmental safety requirements and try to maintain stringent environmental standards. They must comply with environmental policies that increasingly limit the amount of sulfur and other impurities in fuels. To ensure the effectiveness of these environmental guidelines, refineries must be proactive and continually adjust their processes. Hydro treatment is also used as a major finishing process in a petroleum refinery. In addition, it reduces impurities in petroleum products, which improves the fuel's efficiency and minimizes harmful combustion byproducts. As a result, refineries can meet product specifications. Insufficient removal of contaminants can affect fuel stability, contribute to emissions of pollutants, deactivate catalysts, and promote coke formation, damage engines, etc. Hydro-treating is a catalytic process that uses hydrogen at high reaction temperature and pressures with a high-activity catalyst to remove contaminants such as sulfur, nitrogen, oxygen, etc. Catalysts generally used are cobalt molybdenum or nickel molybdenum. This process is applied to finished products to improve their characteristics such as sulfur content, set a number, smoke point, and the aromatics and olfins contents. The process of removal of sulfur, nitrogen, and organometallic compounds are respectively known as desulfurization, denitrogenation, and demodulation, which collectively forms a hydrotreating process. The hydrotreating process also stabilizes the unstable and undesirable compounds from the fuel, such as aromatics, olfins, unsaturated hydrocarbons, etc. Pretreating catalytic reformer feeds, saturating aromatics in naphtha, desulfurizing kerosene slash jet and diesel, saturating aromatics, and pretreating catalytic cracker feeds are all processes that use hydrotreatment. It also includes heavy gas oil and residue hydrotreating. Depending on the feedstock and end product, each hydrotreating system is tailored to meet the needs of the process. Hydrotreating naphtha, for example, differs from hydrotreating diesel fuel. Hydrotreating in refineries is most commonly used on light naphtha, heavy naphtha, jet fuel, kerosene, and diesel oils. Generally, the feed is initially charged into the reactor using a charge pump during hydrotreating. After preheating, the heated feedstock is mixed with a hot recycled hydrogen stream recovered from downstream processes, and the mixture is sent to the reactor. Depending on the sulfur content of the stream, either a cobalt molybdenum bed, sulfur removal, or nickel molybdenum, nitrogen removal, will be used. The reactor effluent is cooled and partially condensed through a heat exchanger and then cooled with air. The separation process section uses a series of separators and columns to stabilize the feed. The cooled stream from the reactor is sent to a pressurized flash separator. The light ends, mainly hydrogen sulfide, ammonia, excess hydrogen gas, and light hydrocarbons are separated from the bulk of the desulfurized feed. The liquid feed stream from the separator is then sent to the stripping unit having high temperature and pressure condition, which enables the removal of volatile material, light hydrocarbons, which would vaporize at final storage. Inlets to the stripping column include desulfurized raw feed, recycled desulfurized stripped feed, and the bottoms of the column. 
The outlet streams include mostly light gases that are sent for amine treatment to recover them as fuels. The resulting liquid feed is then cooled by air and sent out for further refining processes. The hydrotreating process is critical to address the challenges refineries are facing with the increasing fuel demand. They are primarily concerned with their proper functioning and maximum efficiency. To avoid the operational constraints, it is important to remove particulate from the hydrotreater feed and maintain the run life of the process at minimal cost. With the incorporation of an adequate filtration system in the hydrotreating process, one can achieve the required efficiency along with the final product specification and benefit economically by reducing the downtime and maintenance challenges caused due to insufficient filtration. Filter Concept has been the most trusted filtration provider for more than two decades now. Providing the right filtration system, uniquely designed to fit the customer's needs, is what we specialize in. We go the extra mile to ensure our filtration systems are tailored to meet the specific requirements of each individual customer. To get your queries resolved, reach out to us at inquiry at the ratefilter-concept.com or ENGG at the ratefilter-concept.com. We greatly value your opinion and look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.